Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're going to be speaking to uh, Dr. Bill McGann. He's the COO and CTO of Quantum Computing, a leader in making quantum computing affordable and accessible to business users, not just the quantum elite workforce. They trade on the NASDAQ under QUBT. Uh, William McGann, just a little back, quick background on Dr. McGann, uh, is, it, you know, as I said, Chief Operating Officer, CTO for QCI, but he's responsible for technical and product engineering. Prior to joining QCI's executive team, Bill served as a member of the board of directors for the company. Prior to joining QCI, he uh, also serves as the chief technology officer for the security detection automation business at Lidos Corporation. Central to his role was the creation of innovative customer solutions driven by a strong portfolio of physics, chemistry, and software-based products. Bill has a strong, directed passion for transforming credible science into practical technology solutions and solving some of the world's greatest challenges. Good morning, Bill, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mike. It's a pleasure to be here. So how do QPhoton and QCI's visions align? We'll just get right into it. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's a very, very unique opportunity in the, in the market space today as, as we see it. So QCI, from its inception, has always been focused on sort of taking the current state-of-the-art technology and quantum technology, in particular hardware, and combining it with a very powerful sort of open architecture approach, enterprise software, if you will, sort of expand the current capabilities of hardware and make sure that as those capabilities in hardware grow, the expansion carries forward so that, for example, in the current space today, I mean, everyone is somewhat aware that um, the current state of hardware capability to solve real world customer problems is still quite limited in terms of its scale and performance. And our approach since the beginning as an enterprise software company has been to address that using our own internal capabilities and core technologies in the uh, machine learning and, and knowledge of quantum systems to make those quantum hardware systems work more effectively in the current environment of use cases today. QPhoton, meanwhile, has this real keen focus on pushing the envelope on next generation quantum hardware technology. And so pulling the two companies together has created this great opportunity to leverage the best in world-class photonic-based quantum technology with our enterprise software to really expand uh, the capabilities of the quantum industry today where we are and drive a really strong vision for the future. So, so the strategies are really well aligned around uh, formulation of enterprise software around very powerful new technology art. Okay, great. And Bill, what do you see as the key value you'll bring to QCI? So, uh, you know, from a key value, one, one, of the, one of the elements that we see in the trend in the market is uh, people are moving toward full stack, right? So you have hardware companies partnering or buying software companies. Um, and, and that's in some ways understandable in an emerging sort of nascent technology market in, in many areas. That's not actually that unique. However, um, it's also in this case, I think, driven by the recognition that until hardware providers as, as powerful they claim their performance to be, are not going to be able to really interface effectively with real world use cases and customers to generate profitable solutions for those commercial ventures until they are tied and intimately coupled to software that makes the system as a whole be accessible to the world, not just you know, some quantum scientists sitting in a lab trying to make a set of hardware work or a set of software gurus building architectures, they have to come together. And QPhoton will have that hardware capability that will plug perfectly into our existing Catalyst platform, which is an agnostic solution space today that already interfaces with the state-of-the-art quantum hardware, but it will add another, another tip to the spear, if you will, for us to go out and become agnostic, you know, consultative thought leaders really in the emerging quantum industry. Okay, great. And what do you see uh, Photon Technology bringing to QCI? So, yeah, very interesting. I mean, um, Q QPhoton and QCI, to some, to some degree, when we come together, see the world through a fairly different lens than I would say the more traditional companies in the space today. So today you have the market being segmented by very entrepreneurial small startups like us, you know, either in the hardware or software space. And the, the, there's a big uh, a gap between those and the big, really big, large 
you know, high-end computing engineering companies of the world that are really focused kind of on the hardware. Um, and, and as such, the hardware is emerging to become these really elite type of platforms that are, require really low temperatures of operation to maintain stability of the quantum systems that are being generated inside the, the hardware and the architecture, as well as the really high vacuums required to maintain those really low temperatures, et cetera. And, and we see the world together as through a very different lens in that photonic systems in principle have the opportunity to uh, operate in the nascent quantum world that we live in today. So we can, we can contemplate and envision room temperature truly room temperature systems that you know, can, can be uh, sort of democratized in the world of quantum computing for all users. And our software interface to those very powerful sets of hardware will provide solutions that we can begin to implement today. So what I would say, that different focus through that lens gives us as two small companies coming together a leg up on actually you know, potentially providing solutions that the world is imagining will be available in a few years, we think we can we can start there and take and be take a, a role at the table to lead the, lead the industry forward with some of the things we're doing together. Okay, and Bill, you mentioned earlier the trend in quantum computing today is toward full stack. Do you see that as the same as the QCI and QP approach? Yes. Um, so again, the, it's the hardware com uh, software combination. Um, you know, our current experience as an enterprise software company gives us that opportunity to interact with lots of customers, which is a growing pipeline of opportunities for us. So we really have a good pulse on what customers in the markets are looking for. And QPhoton brings the capabilities of a scalable high performance quantum computer that can interface seamlessly to our architecture, which is the work that we're doing together today. And, and when that comes together, which, which will be shown, you know, shortly, uh, we think that we'll be able to address some some real world problems in a very meaningful way, very quickly, to accelerate the growth of the market. Great. Well, and and next, I guess, last question here. You know, how do you think you guys now with this with uh, QPhoton? How do you think or expect to disrupt the quantum computing market as it stands now? Well, you know, we want to be very, I mean, we want to, we're very passionate and have strong vision. So let's just start there. I, I mean, I, I could talk all day long about that, but uh, we want to also be appropriately, you know, considerate and, and take one step at a time to be able to demonstrate by use and by third party validation, the capabilities that we're talking about here today. So while, while I want to say that we think very quickly, we'll be able to demonstrate uh, quantum technology capabilities that are being spoken about to emerge in 2025 and beyond, we think we'll be able to demonstrate that much faster uh, together, uh, effective immediately uh, as, we, as we go forward as one company. And we, we intend to do that in a very uh, transparent and stepwise process where we will demonstrate to ourselves and to the community uh, our progress. So we don't want to, we're very sensitive about making claims and then not being able to quickly support them. So we're, we're going to sort of do it backwards. We want to develop the, the support cases, show the results, and then talk about it. But we think that that can happen at an accelerated pace, and we're very excited about doing it. Well, yeah, it is an exciting space and an exciting time for quantum computing. A lot, of, a lot going on there. You guys are right at the center of it. So, uh, Bill, exciting to have you on the show. Really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon for another update. Okay, everybody, we've been talking to Mr. Bill McGann. He is the COO and CTO of Quantum Computing, Inc., a leader in making quantum computing affordable and accessible to business users right now. They trade on the NASDAQ under QUBT. You can learn more about them at their website, quantumcomputinginc.com. We are starting our coverage of quantum computing again, uh, including our first live webinars and interviews, so stay tuned on ceoroadshow.com. And as always, thank you for watching.